So I think it's really important that we also address inequalities in health, but also inequalities in, in well-being. Usually when we talk about inequality, we automatically think of inequality in wealth. So the, the rich-poor gap or the gap between rich and poor. And usually the World Happiness Report and the, the different rankings, they focus on averages. However, in the recent years, we are also looking at inequalities in well-being. So one thing is the average in a country or in a group. Another thing is the distribution. So is there a big difference between the extremely happy and the extremely unhappy people? And that is very important to, to focus on. It's very important to understand and address also because uh, one of the patterns we can see, uh, and this links into us caring about how we are doing compared to everybody else and that we are social be beings and that we compare ourselves to each other, is that we can see that it looks like in the data that it's more difficult to be unhappy in an otherwise happy country. Um, so that's why we need to address inequalities in, in, in well-being. Um, one of the inequalities in, in well-being and one of the inequalities in, in health uh, derives from, from challenges around mental health. Uh, so obviously people that are struggling with mental health issues, depression, anxiety, so on, are uh, reporting lower levels of, of life satisfaction and, and so on. But uh, in many societies also trouble with a, a social stigma around mental illness. And I think it is tremendously important and perhaps one of the most important thing that countries could do is to focus more on reducing the stigma around mental health, channeling more resources toward the, towards the mental health area, normalizing the conversation around mental health. Actually one of the, the great, I think, uh, side benefits from my work is now that I've experienced with my, my, especially male friends, that having a conversation about how we feel, about how happy we are with our lives, how satisfied we are, quality of life, uh, emotions, is now more legitimate because of my work. Uh, and it, it's, 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 it's wonderful to start to open up that very important conversation with close uh, friends about how we're actually doing. Um, so that would also be my, my, my suggestion to you, uh, to start opening up about how we feel about our lives, trying to perhaps also start some of those different uh, difficult conversations with good friends or family members that, that you might suspect are going through difficult times. Um, it can be um, sentences like, um, it seems you're going through a difficult time. Is there something you would like me to know about how you're feeling? Or is there somebody um, else you would like to, to talk with? It's difficult, but I think it's tremendously important that we, we start having those uh, conversations around mental health.